Creepers. So I wanted to start today's vlog with this incredibly awesome mural by Portland artist slash cartoonist Mike Bennett. And I will definitely leave all of his links. Mike Bennett recently did this piece here, but he also teamed up with Portland State for a tune tour. We're going to creep up to Portland State University's campus and check out some of Mike's creativeness. Definitely one of my favorite cartoonists, so stay tuned. So I'm standing directly in front of this pretty chill Portland State sign here. I'm actually right on campus at Portland State University here in the heart of downtown Portland. And what brings me here today is something that is super cool. Um, you guys know me. In fact, I actually have a cartoon shirt on pretty much all the time, how much I love The Simpsons. But I also love and really appreciate another really great our cartoonist, artist, whatever you want to call him, and that's Mr. Mike Bennett. That's right. I will leave links to his Instagram and all his work. He does a lot around the community for all kinds of goodness, but he set together with Portland State to bring us the Toon Tour. That's right. So I'm going to creep around campus and check out some of his art. He has done a great job of cutting out all kinds of cartoon characters throughout the year, but today is a special one he has created some individual characters and planted them all over the school here that have and will relate to portland and the campus and everything in portland in general so stay tuned today is going to be incredibly fun i'm excited tune tour portland state all right guys so i pardon the glare but this is the official portland state university uh tune tour in partnership with Mike Bennett to help bring visitors back to our downtown campus and just the PSU area. We're going to take the little tune tour here. He's planted his little uh, cutouts. They are made of wood all over the campus here and there are a ton to find. He's given us clues um, as to where to go. So we're going to check out the Portland State tune tour. I'm excited. This should be good and then I'll leave links to Mike's uh, Instagram and his other social media but I am excited because this looks like fun you guys know me I love cartoons so let's get into it let's see if we can find some of these first of all this is a really really beautiful campus here up at Portland State there is a ton of uh, trees all the way up through campus here so if you do end up coming up here and even going to school or just checking out the campus, I would highly recommend just walking through the main uh, the main campus entrance. Like I said, there's just a ton of trees. Always makes for good shade. And uh, I actually went to school here for not too long. I actually took summer classes, which was a little bit harder for me to do in the summer because at the time I was still kind of focusing on just working. Um, but Mike's pieces are basically scattered all throughout here. So we're just gonna kind of uh, just take a quick walk around and see if we can find any. The information on the website basically tells you exactly where they are, but I'm going to kind of do things a little different. I think we're just going to kind of just walk around and see if we can find them. I guess they're just uh, little pieces hidden all over and uh, we're gonna do our best to try and, try and locate some of them. So stay tuned. Today will be definitely fun. And uh, like I said, I do enjoy coming up to this campus. So we're gonna see if we can find some of Mike's pieces right now. If I remember, there was a couple in the windows over here. Oh, I think they're down here, actually. So let's go walk down here a bit. We are right here on Montgomery and Broadway at Kramer Hall. So I'm thinking there might be one in this window. I'm pretty sure I walked past it already. I kind of cheated a little bit, but if he hasn't already taken them down, we'll see here. Oh, there they are. <laughs> nice. So we got a couple there. Some of his little vegetable works. I think that's to kind of recognize the uh, the chef, the uh, chef show. I can't remember exactly what it's called, but it was filmed here this season in Portland. I'll leave links to that as well. 
and uh, also they do a lot of farmers market work so I'm guessing that's kind of a homage to that pretty cool all right so our next one brings us here this was hard to find I was like where in the heck is it so here's the uh, handcrafted in Portland cocoa donuts location um, this is a newer one right here on campus and uh, I was like gosh I know I know he's done a collabo with them before actually on National Donut Day so his little his little creation's got to be around here somewhere and I started to kind of just kind of walk away and I noticed right here here he is right here <laughs> nice found you little buddy so we got the big, big pink donut here <laughs> That is pretty good. All right, let's see if we can find the next the next one. Let knowledge serve the city. I like that. Like I said, this is a pretty darn big campus, so <laughs> I'm not sure how many he actually planted around, but two so far. So I guess we're on the right path here. <laughs> so stay tuned, guys. We are now at the Memorial Student Union. And we're gonna kinda just make our way through campus here and see if he's got any more of his creations. You guys see any up in the windows or anything? He's pretty clever. Like I said, I walked past the donut shop there and didn't see it. Let's see any in here hiding? Nope. Might be some in here. I'm not sure if this is, I think the main campus inside is closed, so I'm guessing most of the pieces, yeah, most of the pieces we'll be able to see from outside, so they'll be hidden. It's been fun, but at least we don't have to go inside. <laughs> that would have raised the ante a little bit here. That's pretty funny. I was like, well, I don't see any over here. And then I was like, well, I'll just walk over and cross the street and check it out. You guys, another one. We got this big old... What is it? Like a... Oh, it's a dinosaur. Duh. That is pretty darn cool. And it's got a big old neck. I really love his facial expressions, too, on all of his pieces. And I kind of forgot to mention, he actually places these uh, little flyers here as well. And you can use your, your uh, smartphone and, and scan this and it'll take you to his uh, Instagram page and it'll give you guys more information on the Toon Tour. I think he was wrapping things up at the end of June, but it looks to be like there's still some of these kicking it around. So let's go find some more. And, uh, yeah, I just love this campus. This is really cool. And from here, I've already spotted another one which we've actually featured on a pre previous vlog, which is kind of ironic because it was of Mel Blank, the guy that did all the cartoon voices for Looney Tunes. But if you can see right here in front of us is yet another character. This is the Viking, the actual Viking pavilion here is the uh, the location. And this is actually the mascot here for Portland State. So pretty darn cool. And boy, that guy is really howling like, hey, find the rest of us, would you? <laughs> that is pretty good. I like that. <laughs> yep. This has been fun so far. I'm really enjoying this. Kind of quiet up here for a Friday. Huh. All right, let's keep let's keep creeping. I know there's some more right around here we are now in the library area which is pretty darn nice with this big tree here kind of making for some nice shade but I found another one you guys check it out it is a beaver right here at the library <laughs> it looks like he's kind of eyeing that big tree maybe gonna make a a dam out of it that is pretty darn cool and here's the the flyer as well that you could kind of scan and get more info but there he is 
another one. <laughs> Very cool. Leave it to Beaver. Here's their uh, field here. Thought I'd show you guys real quick. This is pretty darn nice. hills but very nice field here very cool all right let's keep creeping because I want to find some more of those they're really cool so here is the Simon Benson house too which is an iconic piece of Portland and in fact they even have his bubblers out front here he's the one that basically paved the way for those bubblers. He installed them around Portland to keep the uh, workers' breaths fresh during the prohibition. <laughs> but this house is pretty darn nice. And uh, like I said, they got this Benson bubbler here. And there's even a little, little placard up here. Probably won't read the full thing, but wow, this is very nice talks a little bit more about what he did in Oregon kind of peek the camera in here just for a second some pretty woodwork in there very cool beautiful front porch and I think they're doing a tour right here too once in a while they'll do like a PDX tours well they'll do this like a walking tour of the entire campus but pretty darn nice I have to say there we have it actually on my way to find a different one which I thought I saw before but this is the science building here science research and teaching building god I haven't been in here in years and uh, I can see another one right here at the top of these steps so let's go up here and check this out here we go we got this how appropriate we got this dinosaur here these dino bones that is a good one <laughs> I like that it's almost like one of those costumes it's like a dinosaur wearing the bone costume I like that so check this out just found another one I actually stopped off to get a little a little drink but I stopped right here in front of the Carl Miller Center and we got another one the Unipiper that's right the iconic unicycling bagpipe fire blowing guy kind of harder to see here with the glare but uh he actually collaborated with him for this one and i'll see if i can maybe find some pictures or even if you get on his instagram i'm pretty sure there's some pictures but that's him right there the one and only unipiper keep portland weird <laughs> still on campus got this really pretty fountain here as well and right behind me are two more in fact, one of them my favorite so far that I've seen. I feel like I just wanted to kind of show you guys the campus as well as we did this little tour. It's always a nice little spot to kind of hang out. But right over here in the rec center is two more pieces. And we're going to skip this one first because I wanted to kind of save my favorite for last. But here is another piece kind of hidden right here at the rec center and this is the max our train so we are highly lucky to have the train and the streetcar but this is another little character there with the buck teeth <laughs> i think his name's max that's pretty good so just notice this brand new building here all the way here still on campus just a little farther down from where we just were over there speaking of the max there's the max which is our train, but look at this. Right where I posted up again, just to kind of take another spot. And now for my all-time favorite character that I found so far. This has been really fun, by the way. Thank you, Mike, for and Portland State for putting this on. But right here, the one and only Bigfoot Sasquatch. Big the foot, call him what you want. But his feet are big. And he is about, oh, I'd say he's at least six something, six one, six two. But here he is, right <laughs> at the rec center. So maybe he's getting ready to go lift some weights or maybe take a jog with those big foot. Try and, try and find him a pair of shoes, would you there, Nike? <laughs> or Adidas. 
anyways i love you guys thanks as always for creeping with and that's going to do it from the pdx tune tour i'm hoping mike will do more of these i i really enjoy doing these uh all around scavenger hunts are always fine but when you've combined cartoons and cartooning and everything like that in the mix you definitely you, you sold me so definitely a great day i hope you guys enjoyed just kind of the smaller tour of the campus as well but that's going to do it one form one more time from bigfoot himself this has been really fun i really appreciate like i said mike putting this on but that's going to do it make sure you guys hit that thumbs up you can ring that bell that way when i creep you guys will be the first to creep love you guys creeper out for now peace